Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is what is my favorite pad explanation video. Um, first of all, newest jersey I got, so I'm repping it. And if you can see my hats, Team Canada hat, this is filmed on Canada today because uh, I need a whole day off to, to film this. But anyways, this video will basically go over what I like in pads and what are my favorite pads. I don't have a favorite pad per se. Um, so I kind of, and I also find that when each pad, because they have their own strengths and weaknesses, I find if I wear one for too often, I'll fall into bad habits that I'll be relying on the pad itself. So uh, for example, the optics seal the ice really well here. If I'm playing in them often over and over again without switching to something else, I kind of get lazy with driving my knees down. So if I switch to a Bauer pad, um, because those don't kind of seal the ice like the optic does in that way I'll pucks will slide under because I'm not driving my knees down so I find that if I wear a same one too often I kind of fall into those bad habits when I switch them up all the time I end up getting like more of my technique right and more of more of my natural ability or kind of making sure I'm doing the right things and it doesn't kind of removes those bad habits obviously that's not a luxury everyone has and I'm pretty lucky uh, to be able to have all these sets um, this isn't mine. This is a demo set that's going back in a, like a, a week or so. Um, but yeah, so also, first of all, review of Passau and CCM pads are going to be out in about a week from when this video goes live or even sooner from that. Um, some pads I have some difficulty reviewing in the sense that I want to make sure my opinion is kind of that Passau. Took me a bit to get strapping dialed in on those were the CCMs. I know my opinions of them after the second game. So those ones will come out really soon. Um, so check out for those. All right, so getting into what makes my favorite pads. So I'm gonna whittle down this list right now just so um, I can go into some details. So I love the one X's. It made me buy two X's, but the two X we'll talk about because it's current. Um, don't need, oh, I can leave that for a while. All right, so one of, I'll just get this stuff out of the way really quick. Um, one of the big things for me is stiffness. Um, I like stiff pads. Actually, I should bring this one back. <laughs> and it all kind of started with actually a pair of pads before this. There were a pair of X60s. Um, they're pro return from Scott Monroe when he was with the Philadelphia Flyers or their AHL team. But they weren't actually X60s. They were basically a hybrid between 195 and X60s. They had no outer break. They were really straight, kind of like this, very stiff all the way through. And the boot was really flat, just like this one, except it was totally solid, um, which was really odd. It was actually really close to my Premier boot, my Premier 2 pad boot. Um, and that kind of got me into a stiff, like liking stiff pads. I wore a pair of Coho 588s after, or kind of after I wore these for a bit. And I really like those. And I've been since trying to chase that feeling of the 588s. I won a championship with the 588 to just play really well. So that's why I ended up buying Premier 2s um, because they had the rounded roll like the 588s. Didn't really like those. So I tried the E-Flexes and they honestly don't, they feel kind of similar, but I still like the 588s more, but regardless. Um, so the thing I really like about pads is their stiffness in them and not necessarily the boot. So this boot is pretty stiff. Um, it does flex this way, but moving up and down, it's really stiff. These are a pair of Warrior G2s. Um, these are very, very custom. These were made for my Condon. I don't, I haven't really done a ton of videos on these reviewing them, I don't think, because they were so custom. But as you can see, they don't have a, they don't break at the top. They don't have the flex break or the flex, what I can't remember it's called. Um, and there's a bar basically right here that stops them from break, uh, bending. And I really like those. And the reason I really like that is I found that will go to the Bauer pad for this because it's my current favorite pad for it. Is I found when I, I'm a big guy, if you haven't, couldn't tell, um, I'm about six foot three. So I can, I use my size to my advantage a lot. I'm not super quick, but I'm tall and I can be more positionally than people who aren't my size. Um, so I find with the Bauer pads and it started with those Warriors or Warriors kind of made it a big thing because of how straight they were and because the rebounds were pretty good. Um, so I can put my foot on the post just like this and keep my pad out 
from the post, as you can see. Also, with these being big rebounds, anything that hits that kind of goes away from danger for the most part. <clears throat> um, and when I'm doing this, and one like one of the reasons I really like this pad is because it seals really well everywhere. Even if I put my weight down here, this is still totally sealed down. As you can see, like it comes up there, but really, and this isn't totally flat. But it, this is always sealed. Pucks will not slide under that unless you're really working hard to bend the pad. So, anyways boot is sealed against the post like this. I can use this as blocking kind of passes, not necessarily backdoor passes, but passes. And then when I have a stick as well right here, I can keep the stick active and I'm usually doing a post lean. So my post or shoulder will be against the post. I like having this, like these pads for this because I know all of this is sealed. I know it's staying down. It's kind of deterring or blocking a pass out in front. Anything that hits this, I'm gonna be able to either cover it or it's getting out of danger. Um, even these, like that you have a bit of a curve to them. I'm not saying I would like it straighter because I'm pretty sure that's not how your body works at all. It wouldn't really work that well for that. But I like straight pads because of that. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I really like these power pads and why I always get stiff pads. You can see these CCMs have no brakes on them. I was trying to get it as stiff as possible with that. Um, so that's one of the big things I look for. Now, an interesting thing with that is that these, or I guess I'll do it with this one. Um, I, so I love these optic pads and I'll get into those for a second why, but they do have a fault to them and I'll explain that right here. And I explain that in my review of these pads too. So when I do this with the optics, you can see these ones are actually seem a little bit straight, straighter up than the 2X, but when I do that for the optics, this comes off the ice. Um, so I can fit my finger under there and see if this one has it. It doesn't have it a lot. There's some marks there, but it's not that bad. Um, I have video of me wearing these pads and it was, I got a shot from the slot. I uh, went what tipped, went wide. So I pushed off wide when, and I was basically looking behind the net to be totally honest, because they had the only option that this other player had or the player from behind the net had was to pass it out front. I could have recovered back to the other post really easy. So I'm behind the net right now, and it'd be nice if I had a net to explain this, but I don't. So, sorry, the puck's behind the net back here. We'll say this is the post again. So puck is back here. I am right here. Um, I raise my right leg to kind of pivot, and my left leg was sitting against the post, so I'll use this one. Actually, F1 was kind of sitting here, but this was my pivot. Now I had my weight up here. Um, so I wasn't totally sealed on that, but it wasn't totally sealed because these pads don't seal that well compared to the bower. So what happened was uh, when I was trying to light that, the thigh rise lifted like this. Player passed the puck to his teammate who was behind me. It went right under. Uh, I felt it. I think it hit my, my, so my other leg that was kind of like this. I think it hit that, went right to the player in front of that. Player in front had a wide open net and scored. I immediately looked down and I was like, well, how? I, like, my pad was there, she covered it. Um, it's because of this gap that kind of forms on this. And it's one of the kind of downsides of Brian's pads and how thin these thigh rises are and how they're flexible. They don't totally seal that well at all times. So that is another really big thing for me. Um, so when I buy pads and look at pads, I always look at that. Now, one of the big complaints I have about Warrior is exactly that so i'll see if it shows up here um, so these pads are the same way if i put pressure down there the, the boot rises up um, now again you can say this isn't totally flat that's fine i had a bunch of pucks come down here so just like that is in its natural state and it's not on the ice um or not not totally sealed and when you put weight this way to lean against the post it comes off so sorry if I'm off the screen a little bit here. I'm trying my best to stay on there. But so that's my one kind of big problem with Warrior pads. And I've seen it in the G4 especially because they added the, they basically added the slide surface with added width to this, which pushes this part off. And this is an offset with that extra width. So this is even off even more. Um, so that's, that's an issue for me because just the way I play, I'm a, like I play butterfly, I play positionally. If this isn't always sealed, I kind of have to worry about it. And it's not the greatest thing. Um, like I mentioned, my Brian's 
it happens on my brines a bit but the brines have so many other good features to them that i really like i'm i can get past that um but it's one of the downsides to them and for the warriors from what i've worn so far it's it hasn't been good enough for me for that sense um but i mean i guess that's kind of one reason why i wasn't a huge fan these are too small for me i've actually been trying to move them for a bit but i'm trying to windle or dwindle dwindle this collection down a bit but anyways um so that is one thing as well also i think i showed it off how this pad is a bit harder but you can kind of bend it the brines you can absolutely bend and i kind of showed that in the review that's another thing I kind of look for. Again, the brines is bad in that sense. You can kind of see this, how it's sloping a little bit, whereas the bowers are totally straight and don't move at all. And if you say, oh, that's a new pad, that's why. You pull out the one X and it doesn't move at all. It's totally straight and it's held its shape from me using it. CCM is very good in that regards as well. Um, so another thing that I kind of look out for and I kind of just point something out on these pastel pads really quick. Um, I I actually I like these pads. They're not my favorite pads, but they're solid. Again, they have that flex right there too. Um, but one thing um, I've noticed, or something bad about the Bowers, is the way that they don't seal the ice that well in terms of like cheating for you. And I, I bring this up. I bring this up in my reviews uh, all the time with pads. I find certain pads play like golf game improvement irons where you don't have to have a perfect mechanics and it will make a save for you and kind of stuff like that. Um, the Bowers I feel like are kind of pro pro irons where if your mechanics aren't right, you're screwing up. Um, this is one thing I kind of noticed with Passau, you can see right here, you see the puck marks right there. It's okay in terms of like, it doesn't cheat as much as the brines, but it's actually pretty decent because it does have this right here, so it does go down. My one thing about this is you can see how this is kind of soft. Um, I don't have the kind of confidence in this as I would a firmer material like on these other pads where this is like pretty hard and straight. Um, so that's kind of a negative in that sense. I also felt that these were, I'll leave that for review, but these were um, a bit too unstable because I could feel this moving a bit. Uh, so it wasn't totally, especially like not like right here, but if I would put weight and kind of hold back, I could feel it kind of bending a bit and it wasn't as stable as some of my other pads. So I guess we'll get to this right now. That's why I brought these back up. Um, when I, so when I was wearing these, I was getting a ton of puck sliding under my legs and that's kind of shows you a bit of what I'm talking about. Um, so I was getting a ton of puck sliding kind of under. I have a not great habit of, especially glove saves, if it shoots my gloves, my legs kind of like this, it's like a half butterfly. A bunch of my friends used to make fun of me for it and say I'm a, like an old school goalie. Um, so I found that with certain pads I wore, the pad cheated enough where I didn't have to worry about that. The Warriors were not a case. I always knew I had to drive my knees down with the Warriors. The 588 sealed really well for that. It's one reason why I like them. And these two Brian's pads seal pretty well for that too. Um, so when I was going back between the brines and these vapors, one uh, X I had that issue. So what I had to do was I totally took off the inner straps. This one, a friend was borrowing these pads. So he put this strap on for himself. Um, so I took off these straps and just used this outer strap. So the pad was super loose off my leg, but this one was still fairly tight. But what that would do is it would allow the calf to drop before my calf was actually there. Cause normally I find if you do these tight and you do them the way they're kind of they come stock with like a small medium or even I find even large straps this is too tight to my leg and it kind of it follows my leg too perfectly rather than kind of dangling a little bit um, and I kind of like that little bit of dangle to to cover the ice that, or to help seal especially the calf area the knee I'm not as worried about um, it's more like calf because when you're not like when you're stretching and stuff your knee might be a little bit off and you're reaching for your toe, you might not be able to get that full seal, but if you do get a little bit of help this way, it will seal the, maybe I should go this way. So like when you're stretching far, your knee might be off the ice, but you want that help kind of down here when you're really stretching and really sticking your legs out. Looser in the back will kind of help with that. 
So I had to do this and the pads worked wonderfully for me. And I really changed a lot. And I used that going into the vape, the two X pros. So when I ordered those, I actually asked to get the Vasileski straps, which is this piece is actually sewn on the outside. So it makes a really wide cap channel, um, just like kind of premieres back in the day. And well, premieres now too, if you get that, that uh, design, but kind of the older coho premier uh, style. But Bauer wouldn't do it, it's a pro option for pros. I'm not a pro and it's not one of their custom pro options, so I couldn't go that way. So what I did is I'll get rid of this. It is I, these straps, uh, specifically this strap right here is, let's see if it shows up. I can't remember where it is. They are, um, there is a marking on here somewhere and I just can't find it. Yeah, so anyways, these straps, this calf strap is an XXL calf strap. Um, these are just the normal ones. I can't remember what size that one is. It will tell me if I open it, but I just left it stocked because I actually do do my knee fairly tight up here. And then this one is basically super, super loose right here. Just kind of doing its job and that goes right there. That's nice and loose enough where it keeps my leg apart um, and it allows these to drop pretty well. So that these seal pretty decently, I must say. Now, so we're gonna get to the two Brian's pads. And I mentioned some flaws about these that I found, about how the, the core is pretty soft and um, that they don't seal the thigh rise that well. And it's true for both of them. I find them fairly similar to me feeling how they're built. Normally, so these are the stock pad and they're, they're soft, but they're not soft. Like this would be soft if I really broke it in, but I don't, I never put pressure on top of my pads because I like that straight shape to them. Um, so if I did, I could bend these in pretty easily, but again, I'm leaving them the way they are. I went stock on this. I could have done zero outer breaks, but I wanted to get a stock feel for these for the review for this instead of going crazy customs just to see what you would kind of get off the shelf and what to expect. Um, but the reason I love these pads so much is one, they so these pads slide. From my experience, these pads slide better than any other pad on the market on good to decent ice. Um, so I'm talking in the beginning of the game, maybe halfway through the game, just before the ice gets bad and rough and beat up. I find this Primo works phenomenally and these pads slide really, really well. Um, all this is pretty stable and pretty hard. So it always stays really, um, nice and flat. Not as good as Bowers. The way Bowers implementation of that is really nice. Um, so I'll get to that in a sec after that, this as well, hopefully if I remember, but this is, um, this works wonders. Bowers pad slide kind of second best for second tier. The Bauer 2S Pro, 2X Pro, I found the 1Xs slide really well. I haven't worn the 1Ss in so long, I can't talk about it. Um, but these pads, those pads slide the best overall for all conditions. So they'll be the best, like they're not the best at the for everything, but they're the best overall, if that makes sense where I think these are the best sliding for, like I said, really nice ice and good ice. When the ice gets rougher, I can feel the bower sliding better than these ones do. Um, CCMs are kind of the exact opposite. I had speed skin on E-Flex 4s. And I thought they slid pretty well, but only when your leg was doing a certain movement. And then other times I felt like it caught the ice. And then I had speed skin on my Premier 2s and on like wet ice, they slid really well. And then once the ice, it was like hard, just sitting for a while, um, I couldn't move in them. And they just, they felt like they stuck on the ground or stuck on the ice, I couldn't move that well. So then I went to the fours, I went back to carbon. And it's kind of the same thing. When the ice, they feel like two different pads. I wore those in back to backs. Um, at the end of this first game, I felt like I couldn't move and I had to push off really hard, almost to the point where I'd, it'd be quick, almost quicker for me to get up and push rather than just Butterfly slide. At the beginning of the next game, I was just sliding around warm ups. I'm like, holy, these are, what is this? This feels totally different because the ice was wet and they slid better. The Bowers, I don't notice that big of a difference. Um, so that's what's really good about the Bowers. But this speed skin slides amazingly. I've worn a pair of SLR 2s with it just for a little bit. Um, but I found SLR 1s to slide very well as well, but in a different way just because of how it fit on my leg. It didn't feel like the whole pad was sliding, it only felt like like the boot or whatever. It almost felt like every time I picked up my leg, it would just push off. 
like the, the pad would like basically every time I picked up my leg to slide, it was like only the boot touching because the rest of the pad came up. Cause I, I found the, the ones I used were so broken and soft that it played more like a really old school pad than what they were kind of supposed to. Um, so I'm trying to get a pair of SLR twos to demo to see how those are, but that, that's another story altogether. Um, but so that's why I like Brian's. One of the reasons I like Brian's so much is because of how well they slide. The other reason is because of how well they seal the ice. So the optic has this pillow right here that sits under your calf. Now, again, I don't strap any of my strap pads super tight where I'm kind of loose. The knee is the only one I kind of want tight so my pad doesn't flop off, or my knee doesn't flop off of it. But with that said, this pillow feels like cheating. And to me, these brines seal the ice better than any other pad I've ever worn um, from the knee down. So we'll go back to the front for this. Or actually, here, we'll, we won't. We'll leave this here. And we'll go back to the front for this. So I mentioned the, the thigh rise right here, how when you're kind of not, like even when it's in its right spot, it's not perfectly sealed. To me, it's always off a little bit, especially when you do a post lean, it comes off a little bit and just doesn't seal the ice perfectly. Um, and that's a bit, because to me, the core is a little soft and just kind of how this design is, it kind of sticks out a little bit more than that. So because of that calf pillow, when I, my knee is not on the ice, the calf, basically is all the time. And it's pretty amazing. Um, it honestly feels like the pad is cheating for you and it just seals everything down there. And it's, I have no idea. Like I was really surprised it was legal to begin with, um, but it is. And when I wear it, it's like really awesome for that. These pads don't do that as much. And I actually let in a goal in the playoffs where my teammate shot it in. He didn't shoot it. He kind of tried to push a puck away from someone and went right under my leg and I was in the midst of pushing my pad up. Like my leg was coming up to push off, to follow the guy that was tr supposed to have the puck and then just lost it, it the other team. Um, and my teammate kind of swatted at it and went through my leg and went right under here and I tried to close, I couldn't drop it fast enough. If I was wearing these, I would have stopped that. Still won the championships, doesn't matter. But because of this pillow and how that sits, whenever, like even if I'm off a little bit, that down here is still gonna stop the puck. And that's, to me, is a really awesome feature of these pads and why I really like the optics. They're not like, they're not, I'll get to, actually I'll get to that in the end of what would make my favorite, like all over favorite pad. But that's one reason why I really, really like the optics and why I'm not really hurting to, I'm not gonna replace these probably for quite a while. Um, they do what they're supposed to do and they do it well and I really like that. So we'll get rid of these. Now, the genetics don't have that calf pillow to the extent that the optics have. So the genetic just has this wing that's a bit thicker, but it doesn't seal like the optic one does because the optic, that calf pillow is kind of just pushing it down a little more. Um, so you might be saying, well, why don't you just, why don't you just get another pair of genet or optics instead of genetics? One, the strapping, yeah, you can get the strapping on optics now, but I really like the strapping system. It's so simple and it works. And this pad is was the reason I'm now bootstrapless on everything, just because once I dialed in this toe strap and um, and then I was comfortable with it, I got rid of the bootstrap on everything. It just works for me now. Um, I did a whole bootstrap video and why you should get rid of them and how toe ties work. So check that out if you're interested. But that's like this pad kind of really opened me up to that. Um, and everything about this pad, like this pad just wears on my leg really nice and it's very different feeling the optic. I said the core was very similar between these two and I kind of believe it, but the difference is just kind of how, for me at least, is how the strapping is and how it kind of just sits on your pat, your leg. And what I mean by that is when I met, talked about the SLR ones that I wore, how it felt like more of an old school mobility sliding all over the pad, this one feels closer to that to me than what those are. If you watched Robin Leonard play with, with these, it, they kind of follow his legs really well, but they follow his legs in a very mobile, moving. Leonard's not a very mobile goalie, but they never hinder his movements and they, they work with his legs to move, where I feel the Bowers, I kind of play around them. I know what they're gonna do all the time. I know where they're gonna be because they're so stiff. And I play around them, which is okay and for I like, 
but these kind of give me a little bit of a different feeling where they feel more connected to my leg and it's more like I can move around a bit faster and stuff like that. Not to say that I always move faster with them, but it's just a different feeling pad and why I really like them for what they are. Um, to me, this pad honestly offers a lot of stuff I don't like. It's a little soft. The faces, the rebounds are too soft. Same with the optic. I like harder rebounds on both of those. Um, but it, it, this, I won a championship in these pads. But again, um, I like, like, they work for me. They work well for me. And so again, I, this is another pad I'm not really going to be moving off of um, because it works so well for me in that regard. So um, get to these Bowers really quick just to talk about one other thing. I mentioned how no one does this better than Bauer. So the big thing about the Odin pads which was a huge change from kind of everything else was how Bauer like kind of changed these as well. Now it's kind of a lie, but it's not kind of a lie. Um, the other big thing is that obviously the material change, I think that these warrior G2s were the first one that kind of locked this in place. Now this is an old pad, so it moves a bit, but the idea is there where, and I'm not sure if it was because of NHL rulings they did this, or because of performance, but it was the, I love that this is a thing now that works really well. Cause now when you push out, the, it basically holds its place and it won't like flare outwards and you get faster drive for it. Um, the problem with that is when it doesn't flare outwards, it's harder to seal pucks like that. Um, but the other big thing, these Warrior G2 pads were phenomenal by the way. And they were total game changers in terms of how their construction was laid up. Like the Warrior, what G1s I think had the non-binding, but the G2 is what changed kind of this and did this really well. Where this was a solid piece as well, but it's not as hard as what Bauer did here and why I kind of like the Bauer. You can see how this is softer. You can flex it. It doesn't sound hard where the Bauer is. So we get to the Bauer. I, because of how they build these uh, blocks out, I feel that these pads are like the best for that and it really helps with sliding because of how hard these are. Um, they don't really bend that much and you can hear it and this material is so tight all the way through. I think I'm pretty sure it's styrofoam under there or like arrow light foam or whatever they call it, but it's basically styrofoam in this pad, but it works. And it's a really nice, good idea that how I believe helps make it slide really well. Um, but slide consistency as well or consistent as well. But this also leads to, if you don't have anything pushing it down, it doesn't seal the ice quite like the optic and the optics do. Um, so get out of through this. Oh, one other thing I mentioned stiffness. This pad is so stiff. You can see the thigh rise doesn't really bend. Like you'd really have to bend it. I got a, a Supreme stiffness on this um, and it's stiff and I like it like that. So next we'll talk about these E-flexes a bit. Um, so one of the big things about these E-Flex is a big change with lightness. And this is the lightest, I think, pad they've ever made. Or if it isn't, it's the lightest E-Flex they ever made. And it's, they really did dial down the weight on it. And that's really nice in terms of what CCM has done here. Um, but I'll just be straight up. I'm not a huge fan of these pads. Um, and you'll see that in the review. But I guess I'll get into some stuff now. I mentioned the sliding isn't that great. Um, this is a pretty solid... Like this is a piece of hard foam. It's not as hard as the Bauer, but it's, it's not bad. Um, but you can see how material kind of bunches up on this. I'm not sure if that's everyone or just mine quality control. It does bunch up on there. This just doesn't slide as well as the Bowers do at all. Um, it's not even close. So even with speed skin, I, I'll have a video on that in the future. But um, yeah, so they, we'll move off of that really quick before I get into a long rant. Um, so CCM went for the lightweight thing of this and I don't really care about light, lightweight. Um, so if you notice, I've had a lot of different pads here, very different styles. I think these are the lightest ones here still, or if not, they're close. Um, and then two of my favorites, which are these two are actually heavier than most other pads. They're heavier than two S's. They're heavier than the one X's. They're heavier than E flex. It's getting to the point with pads where weight doesn't matter to me. Um, I, I, can't, I can tell the difference when I pick them up. 
but like when you're playing, if I can't tell the difference or I'm not tired in one compared to the other, then it doesn't matter to me. And I don't notice being tired or not between those pads when I'm wearing them, so it doesn't matter to me. CCM went to a light, light, like a lighter core and everything while still being stiff, which is a huge prop set in that. Um, but I found with the Premier and the E-Flex, I am more tired in these pads after playing a game than I am in any of the other ones. I don't mean like, oh, I just get more shots with these. It's not true. Um, so I played it back to back with these recently and I was drained after the first game. I'm like, how? And I play back to backs quite often and I, I'm not that tired. My legs were tired and nothing else. So it was really weird in that sense. It was the same game where I said that the end of the first game, I felt like I couldn't push. And then I went to the second game and felt like that they're totally different pads. Um, like I don't get that feeling with when I wear other pads. I got that when I wear these and I got that wore when I wore Premier 2s. So, and these are a whole light, lighter weight, right? So it's not like a lightweight isn't what I'm always fighting for because it doesn't matter to me that much. Uh, okay, so E-Flexes, I was hoping would seal the ice really well because they do when you do this and because the core is so nice. So you can see that seals the ice really well. Okay, so you can see that this seals the ice very well right there. Um, it's all sturdy all the way through, especially with the square boot. What I found was it doesn't push down like the optic does in terms of here. And I tried to wear these as loose as I can and just doesn't seal down the calf like I'd like the optic to. So when I do lift my leg to kind of push off, I know I've noticed pucks have been sliding under here. Um, if I didn't drive my legs down right away, I know it's pucks would be sliding under there as well. So that's kind of a pretty big negative for me on these because like I said, I kind of go for specific strengths on pads and to find something I really like. This pad's not totally straight, but it's not curved, so that's a, a bonus. Stiffness is pretty stiff, so that's a bonus. The boot is soft, but the boot and the vapor is soft, so it's not really an issue for me. Um, so it doesn't slide well, which those ones do. So I kind of, the seal on this one's better, but those slide much better. Um, it doesn't seal all that well for me which that one does, and that one not quite as well, but that one slides better. I'm tired with after wearing this one. And the rebounds, these rebounds are by far the softest on any pad I have, like by far. The, I find pucks just die on this and drop down. I like big rebounds. I find big rebounds are harder to control. If you're coming on a two-on-one guy shoots far pad, he's shooting for a rebound. If it's a bigger rebound, like on the Bowers, I find it's harder for players to control than it is on something softer. So even these are softer than I'd like, um, but the Warrior was really good for that where the rebounds were kicked out. These ones, they die, and I feel they die too much in danger compared to what I'd like in the Bowers. Um, I've had those Bowers clear pucks out of zones for me before. Same with the Warrior, to be totally fair. Um, and other times, those the Bowers recently, a low blocker shot, hit the pad, hit the boards. So it's much more difficult for the players to control the opponent. So I'm happier with those bigger rebounds. This one doesn't offer that. So with everything I just said, what's the point of these pads for me? And that's why I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, but check out the full review for those in the future about that. So I, this is a long video, so I apologize for that, but hopefully it will kind of help with um, like what I'm going with. Uh, I think one more thing I should bring up is, so I don't have a huge, huge wide butterfly. Let's grab this one, but I have a pretty wide stance, um, especially with players coming closer. Uh, because I'm a big guy, people shoot bifold on me a lot in tight because it seems like there's a lot of room there. So I have a pretty wide stance and drop. Um, and one thing I really like about pads that are straight, if I can get this in the way, is when I drop down, they form a nice T like right here and pucks I find just drop in between here and I can cover it or even like, I think that's more realistic to my butterfly. But with this straight pad, I can form that T, puck drop down there, perfect. So I like that as well. Um, so I think we're at the point where I should start talking about what would make my favorite pad because clearly there isn't my favorite pad because I like 
different things of every pad. Um, some of the things don't I really like don't work with each other. Like for example, this cheating pad in the back for that seal. If I put that on this pad, this pad will no longer have that connected feel to my leg. So I kind of have to have to take one for the other. So honestly, um, I would probably have to go with, well, actually this is the easy part. Um, I would want Bauer, the inner core. So I want this stiffness all the way through. Um, I would want the outer roll, this angled outer roll, or even a more a thicker roll like this, but I'd probably be okay with this. Um, the boot I'm not as picky with because I find that like, I'm, I'm not as picky with the boot. I would probably go with the 2X Pros just because it, it seems to work with the core for me right now. Um, so 2X Pro core, the base, I love, I still like the look of the multi like looking Gen Pro and stuff like that. Uh, but if this one will give me off bigger rebounds, I need it for sliding, I'd go with this. The diff, the back is where mine would really mine would change on this. If I could get an optic like back part with this, I would actually prefer this material over their foam and kind of nylons, um, just because I like I think it's lighter and it's a little bit more protective. But if I could get this kind of back part and feel of the optic pad into this vapor pad, it would be like perfect. Um, I don't know if that's possible. If possible, I'm not going to try to rip open a pad and do anything like that. But that would kind of make my ideal and perfect pad would be like if I could get the closure ability here into this vapor pad, I would be absolutely set. Um, I don't. I'm trying to think. I think that's basically just the gist of it. I, uh, some people. Like sometimes I like the genetic, but again, if we're talking about my perfect, perfect set, it would probably be just that little bit extra seal down here uh, to allow that pad to drop a little bit quicker for me. Um, but besides that, I think that would be it. And it's a pretty easy answer to be totally honest. Um, but with the length of this video and everything I've covered, it should be pretty obvious of why I don't think this question is that easy um, to answer. So if someone says to me, like, hey, what pad would you recommend right now? I got to get more details from it. And I'll kind of kind of dig through that and uh, find out what works for them and everything like that. So like right now I'm wearing the 2X Pros because I just got them. And I have will be reviewing a couple, I hope a couple more pads this summer. Um, but like I'm happy to go back to these. And when I notice I'll start kind of cheating with the 2Xs, I'll or put something else on for sure. But they're, the 2Xs aren't my favorite. Um, but they have features that are my favorite. If I need to win a game, so playoffs for summer, I'll probably end up wearing the 2X Pros. But for my winter teams, I would go to these two when I needed to. I had a couple of pads I could have been reviewing. That's one reason why the pass out review is taking so long. Here, let me bring these back up. It's because I got these right during playoffs um, for my Bulldogs and Tigers team, which is for those. And I won't wear these for playoffs. I won't wear something I'm not comfortable with for playoffs. And if I don't feel like I will have the best opportunity to win. And for me, the best opportunity to win was wearing these two and kind of the gloves as well. Um, so that's why I went with those. I don't know. Right now, I, I probably, I haven't worn these in quite a while because I've been demoing and reviewing stuff. So I would probably be about like a week before playoffs. I'd probably put those on and see if I wanted to go down that route. Um, but for the time being, the vapor is what I'm wearing now, but I won't ever tell someone just to buy those. I would always try to dig more and get some more info, but I love the, the stiffness of them and I love the rebounds of them. So, and the sliding ability. So they're up there, but again, hopefully this video was kind of helpful. The story was really long, but I, I, if you can't tell, I like talking gear and I like talking about different features of gear and stuff like that. And like what makes a piece of equipment really good or not. Um, so yeah. I don't have an answer, but that was my answer. This really long video. So thank you very much for watching. If you got this far, I very much appreciate it. Hopefully answer some questions. So pads and that was eFlex 4 coming very, very soon. Um, I will link those in the description of this video when they're done, but just check out my channel for that. Uh, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and like this video. Uh, it helps get me more 
you don't need but to do reviews on. Um, and so I can talk about equipment like this and can do things like that as well. Um, if you buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to manufacturer on social media. Helps them know uh, just so I get on the radar so I can get like demo stuff and things like that because I'm probably done buying pads for a very long time and I'm actually moving on from a couple of these as well. Um, so yes, that is about it. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.